Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing a Battle Spirits Ascension of Dragons booster box. Got this for $11.50 off eBay. It was a card game made by Bandai. Some artwork. Um, it really doesn't have much besides company info, so let's just open it. There's only two ultra rares for this set. So, there we go. I basically screwed up the box. <laughs> um, I have no idea how this is supposed to be. <laughs> Screw it, we'll just do it like that. Uh, let's open the left side. We have this little dragon on the front. Each trading card pack includes eight sele randomly selected, up to six commons, up to two commons, and one or th one of three rare card. Huh. These are packaged very strange, like this. So, oh, there's a tear right there. You just magnificent. I already dislike this method of opening. Absorb symbol. We already have a hollow. It's a spirit, the Ice Witch Hill. Seven spot. Chamel Whip. Pineapopotamus. The Cat Lady Abysna. Ring of Nibble again. Dark Peon. Huh. So... My booster box all messed up here. So let's just uh we'll just do this. We'll just so second pack. Golly. So, we have the Yojinbo Ant-Man, the Fallen Angelia, the Angelia Throne, which is pretty neat looking, Hell Witch, the Angelia Cleo, Chorus of Birds, Amethyst Empty Sky, Fenrir Cannon MK2. this booster pack design. I don't know if I've said that enough. The Princess Snow White. Allegade. The Sky Dragon Lysseal. Gera Finn. Dense Macabre. The Ratman Zurich. The Diamond Empty Sky. The Fairy Dorothy. There must be some special trick to open these, so that I don't know. We have Nexus Repair, the Dictator Volcanos, the Ape Man Mongoku, Banshee, Arcana Fighter, Rabbi Rabbi, or Rabbi, Rabbi, I don't know, Strong Dominated Earth, Braveless Leo. I'm sensing a lot of uh, Wizards of the Oz and 
Snow White and Seven Dwarfs type uh, things going on. Huh. Check us out at Bandai.com slash Battlespirits, which is no longer even up anymore. Because Bandai cannot make a card game that will last long enough. The labeled evil deity, Big Loki, Water Snake, uh, Sea Serpenta, the Thunder Dragon, El Claire. It's really, really nice looking. Headless Carriage, Arcane of Fighter, Cotter, or something like that, Branch Lock, the Emerald Empty Sky, and the Beast Master, Devager. I'm not even sure how you pronounce that. Yeah, poor Bandai. They can never keep a card game going long enough. And then when they got Dragon Ball Z, they couldn't even make a decent game. The Whirlwind Raven. The Armored Beast Heath Rune. The Ground Dragon Fondaxion. Fal Condor. Dwarf Seven, so yeah, Snow White Seven Dwarfs. The Soldier Gustav. The Ring of... Nibilgan, the Black Fairy Titania. I can't tell if these are Yu-Gi-Oh sized or uh, magic sized. They're kind of weird. I think they're actually magic sized, but... The Iron Hammer Oswald, seven spot. The Spear Beetle Lucinidos. Duckle, Forced Aura, the Pharmacist Girmari, Girmari, Great Link, Dark Peon. Oh. Oop, I dropped it right on the floor. Birds, the Giant Knight Elduis, Weisless Scarecrow, Chain Dragon, Pentameister, the Battle Beast Diatirma, the Shadow Street, the Postman Pantin. <laughs> That's funny, it's basically some kind of penguin type thing delivering mail. It'd be quite interesting to have a penguin deliver. Mail. Oh, come on. I really dislike this packaging. Uh, Venom Shot. Heartless Tin. Thunder Dragon Ale Claire. Massive Up. Mithril Golem. Ugarum. Hi, Ether. Mist Curtain. And what I remember reading about this set, as a matter of fact, is um, some of the names from Japanese did not translate into uh, English correctly. Because this game, from what I've seen, is popular over in Japan. The Steel Forest, the Jewel Bug Scaravale. The Vampire Dampeel, Black Mach G, The Battle Beast Babiever, <laughs> The Battle Beast Jacker, Jacker, I was going to say Jackal, Dragon's Rush, Arcana Beast Heart. But yeah, um, this game, from what I've seen, is more popular over in Japan, considering it had. Uh, Plenty more booster boxes and releases than it did over here. I think over here we only got four uh, starter decks and then a demo one that Bandai sent out. And then I believe only four or five booster sets came out. Because I believe this is the fourth one. So we have the Ancient Arena, Wiseless Scarecrow, the Dark Dragon Ops Curite, 
Magic Drill, Bronze Golem, the Two Sword Ambrose, Merciful Release, the Postman Penton, Penguin Postman. But um, if you've played this game or you own the cards, um, please comment below and tell me a little more about the, the game. I've seen kind of a, a mixture of uh, ways, God, tutorials, um, Eternal Shield, the Legendary Giant Jude, the Jewel Bug Scaravale, Dark Dinahound, that's kind of cool looking, uh, Armit Crab, the Illusionist Mirage, Merciful Release, Arcana Beast Heart. I've seen uh, different tutorials, but um, <clears throat> most of them aren't really all that great. They're the way they explain it's awfully strange, and it's mainly the video quality is never good in those, so I can't really see the cards very well to know what they're talking about. Straight flush. The Eight Man Mon Goku, the Sea Dragon, Current Marin, Sorb Symbol, the Airspace uh, Thesaurus, the Spinner Harphilis, yeah, Harphilisite, Trick Prank, it's kind of a weird name, Dream Hand. That doesn't sound like that translated well because Trick and Prank are basically the same thing, if you think about it. I mean, yes, they can be different, but. To me, I think they're basically the same. But, um, you know, I, I, I do kind of like Bandai. Uh, I don't mean to just add some rip into them, but uh, we have the Unicorn Dragon Volsung, the Zombie Dragon Zomsaru, strange, the, the Chimera Dragon Hydrus, Shadow Juggler, Ormet Crab, Fallen Paladin, the Victory Stand of Glory, and the Renaissance Magni. Because uh, I did like Digimon Fusion. I never got it uh, going around here. But um, I did enjoy the cards because I, I liked Digimon when I was a kid and I had the original card game. Potential Power, Eight Man Mon Goku, the Scarlet Dragon Rider Rosso. Skulldemon, makes me think of Digimon right there. The Seahorse Kelpie, Sandman, the Heart Buster Huge Slope, I'd say. So, and then Digimon Fusion was canceled this year as well, along with Kaijudo, which is was my favorite. Now I just venture into uh, Dragon Ball Z card game. Um. I'm going to try getting it back into Dice Masters, but we'll see. So Then we have the Evil Admiral Nega Pluto, the Guardsman Dragno, the Light Dragon Lumiere, Cyclo Winder, Panto Meister, Eternal, Eternal Shield, the Ruby Empty Sky, the Armored Beast Colin Bolsty. But um, I'm also going to be doing more dead card games, since that's what I do. And I enjoy dead card games quite a bit. You know, it makes collecting for that game easy. So you know, you don't have to constantly keep up with the game or the, you know, with the sets and you know what's banned or what sets rotated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you know. So then we have the Iron Hammer Oswald, Heartless Tin, Glacial Breath, Magic Drill, the Battle Beast of Beaver, and the Cat Lady Absinia, Trick Frank. Fairy Dorothy. And this set, I believe, is supposed to be a hundred and twenty cards. Or more than that. I don't remember exactly. I thought it was 120, and then you had the um, Ultra Rares, which were like only two, I believe, like the super, super really rare ones for this uh, expansion set. Steel Forest, the Zombie Dragons of Sora. Tidal Tide, Absorb Symbol, Mithril Golem, the Illusionist Mirage, Switch Hitter, the Blackberry Titania. <clears throat> but poor Bandai, they just never have any luck with card games. <laughs> I guess it's because they do all the, the anime card games, really. 
you know, the only anime card game that does really well anymore is Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, we have Venom Shot, Fallen Angelia Azel, the Viridian Dragon Rider Grun, Chamel Whip, Magic Spanner, Steam Golem, King Snake Nest, Postman Penton, crazy little penguin. But, um, yeah, the only anime based card game is Yu Gi Oh! anymore, except for Dragon Ball Z, which was brought back. So, and then you have uh, Card Fight Vanguard and Future Card Buddy Fight. Vanguard's taken off, I think, much better than uh, Buddy Fight has. So we have Dream Hand, The Great Angelia Seraphy, The Mysterious Fox Cubic, Headless Carriage, Bronze Golem, the Pharmacist Garamaro, The Victor Stand of Glory, Odyssey. So, but uh, otherwise, they don't do as well. Um, I don't really care for Future Card Buddy Fight. Now, I used to play Vanguard, but um, after a while, Vanguard just, uh, I just lost my interest in it. So we have Lead Wall, Mysterious Fox Cubic, Yellow Dragon Rider Flavum, Dark Dynahound, The Seven Dragons Throne, The Bomb Soldier Dragno, The Inviolable's Sanctuary, and Dream Hand. I'm not saying it's a bad game, Cartwright Vanguard. It just, uh, I just played it enough, and I, I just I just didn't want to be a part of it anymore. I just moved on to uh, different games. <clears throat> Jungle Law, Legendary Giant Jude, Fallen Angelia Zell, Cyclo Winder, Dwarf Seven, Fallen Pal Paladin, Spring of Full Magical Powers, and Vito Huner. But, I mean, it's it's definitely uh, one of the most popular card games here in America, so. And I know uh, Future Card Buddy Fight does better in uh, other countries opposed to U.S. So. Potential Power, the Water Snake Sea Serpenta, the Blue Dragon Rider Azure. Chain Dragon, Nexus Repair, Sandman, The Miraculous Hill, Jungle Law. But anyways, to this game, um, <clears throat> it seems interesting. Um, when I saw how it was played, and it relies on the little uh, spirit crystals, I guess is what they call them, and uh, use them to pay for things. We have the Yojimba Ant-Man, The Armored Beast, Heathrune, Tidal Tide, Duckle, Dan's Macabre, The Two Sword Ambrose, Dragon's Rush, The Armored Beast, Golan, Boltsy. How many do we have left? Quite a few. <sighs> Come on. I don't think this tax is what's taking so long. <laughs> We have the Princess Snow White, Wild, Wiseless Scarecrow, Ground Howling, Black Mock G, Dwarf Seven, the Spinner, um, Harphilocyte, High Ether, Beastmaster De Vigor, or Vigor, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know who made this pack design. Oops. <laughs> the Whirlwind Raven, Eight Man Mongoku, Judgment Lights, Massive Up, Bronze Golem, Iron Golem, Gleam Hope, Dark Peon. Weird to pull Iron and Bronze Golem together. Trick Prank, The Ice Witch Hill, Alligade, Duckle, Airspace of Thesaurus, Battle Beast Jacker, Amethyst Empty Sky, 
armored bee skull and bolt C. Golly, come on. Why do these have to contradict me? The Evil Deeding, Big Loki, Jewelbug Scaravelli, Inferno Eyes, Foul Condor, Forest Aura, Agarurum, Merciful Release, Fenrir Cannon MK2. Ancient Arena, Guardsman Dragno. The Purple Dragon Rider Violet. Neat. Kunonomi. Airspace Vitosaurus. Battlemaster. Diatrema. The Shadow Street. Arcana Beast Heart. <clears throat> Come on. Good lord. Straight Flush, Dragolum, the White Dragon Rider Albus, Dark Gorodon, it's pretty neat looking, Warning Attack, Rabba Rabbi, the Strong Dominated Earth, Mist Curtain. So I'll definitely be, ah, cannot talk, I'll definitely pick up starter decks for this for unboxing, so you guys can see, uh, what it looks like. I have Warning Attack, the Mobile Fortress Castle Golem, Alligade, Shadow Juggler, Sapphire Empty Sky, Illusionist Mirage, Strong Dominated Earth, Arcana Soldier, Sink. Last pack of the box. I have not yet pulled either of the two uh, ultra rares from I don't believe I have, anyway. Unicorn Dragon Volsung. Alligade. Lightning Ballista. Cool. The Flame Emperor Kujaraku. Kujaraku. Ah. Magic Spanner. Fallen Paladin. Spring of Magic... Or Full Magical Powers. Full Charge. So look at that stack of cards. Okay, guys. Um... Uh, the Battle Spirits Ascension of Dragons booster box opening. So uh, anyways guys, until the next one, I'll see you then.